Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're gonna have to do a little unboxing on the floor, and then I will move to my filming table to go through each item. This box was just way too big to fit on my filming table, and so I apologize for the very beginning because this is gonna be a little bit shaky and me just filming by myself because I don't have anyone else here to hold the camera. So this is what, I have received one of these seafoam green boxes before. I think it's just the one in this size because I, maybe I'm wrong, but I've received another one in this size before. And so I'm gonna get all the noisy stuff off and then I will show you. This is the load that I ordered this time with one of my 20% offs from my planner orders at launch. And so I got all this 20% off, plus there was some other discount she was running that was thrown in there. So it was pretty good, but I'm gonna take everything out, take it to my filming table, and we will go through it. All right, guys, I am back with, let's go through each item in the haul separately, and I'll tell you if I've used it before and how I feel about it. So this clipboard, I love how it turned out. I love just the white background and the sparse use of color. I did not even put the personalization on here. I just like the way it looks like this. And ever since I ordered my first clipboard, which was this beautiful one, you can't really tell from that side, I used for my YouTube planning. And I talk a lot about that on Instagram. So if you haven't joined me, come join me on Instagram at Amanda's Favorites. That's where I check in every day. And we've really built a nice community there. So ever since I got this clipboard, I just knew I had to have another clipboard. This one has been so useful and I just, I love the feel of it. They're very thick. Now, I do know these clipboards are very expensive, you guys. <laughs> I completely realized that and it's all because you can personalize it. It's all because you choose your pattern and then many of the patterns can, you can even choose your own colorway. So, and then you personalize it with something on it but it is a very thick, heavy-duty clipboard, which literally I think will last your entire life. So I don't see how anything could break this. It's, it's just very durable and thick. So if you are someone who uses a clipboard a lot, then I would say it's worth it, but definitely get on, on a sale. Like I had my 20% off on this order from, you know, when you order planners on um, per, new planners. It comes with a 20% off coupon for I don't know how long during launch time she gives those. I don't know, but I used one of those on this. So definitely use a coupon or wait for a sale, but I love her clipboards now that I have two. I think they are completely worth it if you want a personalized clipboard, if you're going to use it a lot. Okay, file folders. So I got one set of file folders in my last order. I got them in the color pool blue. Those I've shown on Instagram, those are downstairs and I'm using them for my homeschool files. So I decided to get a second set and now my mind has completely gone blank on what color I chose here. I will stick that in the video here. I don't love this color as much as pool blue, it's beautiful. It's just the pool blue just really has my heart. But I love the way the insides are striped. They're pretty thick. These are pricey too, $16 for four. But that's because you get, like I chose my own colorway on the hexagons. It's because you get to personalize them and that costs a lot more, you know, in factory and production. So I get that. So I get they're very overpriced and you can buy cute folders at Target and Walmart. I totally get that. But I am lucky enough to have referral credits. Thanks to all you guys who have used my If It's Your First Erin Condren order. You can go down to my link below in the description box and get $10 off your first order. And then I also get a $10 um, credit with them. And so to me, that's a win-win because I keep being able to get stuff to share with you guys and let you know how it lasts and how durable it is. So is this something that I would splurge on if I didn't have referral credits? But maybe because um, for homeschool, they'll last me more than one year and they sit out in my kitchen. I've shown it on Instagram in like a file folder on the wall. And so I can see the tops of them and it just makes me happy to see them in the colors. And I'm pretty sure they're going to last me for several years. So, I mean, in that way, I do feel like they're worth it. All right. I have tried 
this. Now I can't think of what kind of pouch this is called, but you know, it's their fake leather. And this is not for a planner or anything. It's not even supposed to be a planner accessory. Now, if you wanted to use it as a pen bag, you could. It's actually huge. Oh, good. They put a tag inside telling me what it is since I can't remember. This is the Small Lux Clutch. And that's the size on it. Nine and a half by 6.3 inches. So the Small Lux Clutch. And I wanted this for just, if we were just going out and I just wanted my phone and keys are not that much, I really don't have like a little black thing like this for just, for anything like that. And the price on it with my 20% off was good. So I just decided to go for it and I was really hoping it wouldn't have the fishy smell like my planning pack did on the inside. I had to air out my planning pack in the garage for like months, like turned inside out because it had a very fishy smell, but this one does not have a fishy smell at all to me. I don't love how the Erin Condren stamped on the back. Like if you want to use it for like a nice, you know, evening out or something, I don't know. I'd rather that not be there, but that's just the way it is. You can remove this even and not have like your wrist strap on there. And so it has a very nice feel to it. It's a nice pouch. It would fit a phone and keys and even, you know, lip chap gum. And it's just, it feels good. It feels really good, even though it's just, you know, some kind of fake leather. Okay, I got this mouse pad because I have kind of fallen in love with this pattern. And I don't even have a mouse yet for my computer, for my Mac, because I have a laptop. But eventually, I think I'm going to get a keyboard and a mouse. And even if I don't, this um, makes a great place just to set my mug on my desk so it's not like clunking down my aluminum mug. And so it's just a nice landing pad for that maybe in the meantime. And I just got it because I really like this pattern. And you know how she discontinues patterns. And so I was afraid that by the time I got my mouse and keyboard, whenever that might be, that this pattern wouldn't be around anymore. And I really like this pattern. Now it didn't turn out as bright and beautiful on the mouse pad as I was hoping. I'll be 100% completely honest. Because this is what I was working off of. I was thinking of how it looked on my clipboard. And I absolutely love how it looks on my clipboard. So you can see on the mouse pad, it's just muted. Especially like the off-white color here because they put a black background. You know, so black is behind this overlay. So I really, really wish they would have put white behind this overlay. Or off-white, you know, so the black is not shading through on all of this. So that's just a quality thing that I think could have been done a lot better, but it's not an expensive mouse pad. We're going to move on from that. Okay, you guys know I already have one of these tablets. Actually, no, I already have two. And I do not need another one because they have like 50 sheets. And I only need one sheet a week. But I just wanted to throw one more in my order because I love it so much. Some weeks I even make two lists. Like if one gets too messy, this is my weekly list. If one gets too messy, then I can just make another list, you know, and re-prioritize um, for the week. So I just wanted to have enough on hand in case she stopped making them. Because when I like a product, that just seems to happen. But I don't think she's going to stop making them because this is a brand new product. You can personalize what you put in here. And if I'm remembering right, you can even personalize the colors on here. You don't have to have rainbow flags. So it could all be one color, I think. Um, so check that out. But you can personalize the words. Of course, you can use Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But you can use anything you want. I do to do online, errands, call on, and then a blank one. And then here I kind of list my appointments for the week. And so it's kind of like an overview, just my weekly list. And it's my mantra for the year um, is you have enough time for the things that matter. Or I like to say it to myself, I have enough time for the things that matter. So I don't know why I didn't print I on there. Maybe because I'm thinking of myself reading it and I'm reading it like that. But I put the date in here for the week. I love how it has a rainbow line and the rainbow letters to match the flags. And I couldn't put you have enough time for the things that matter if I wanted room for the date. So just you have enough time is enough to remind me. I'm pretty much printing that on as many things as I can right now because I'm just, that's something I need to constantly remind myself of is that I have enough time for the things that matter. Time in my life right now is probably my most valuable commodity for sure. Yeah, it is. And so I just like to constantly remind myself I have enough time for the things that matter.
because truly I do. So I have to sit down and prioritize and say what matters the most. And then I have to scrap everything else just as a way to say it. Truly, I have to. So every single day I have to remind myself of that. But okay, these are the first cards I've ever ordered from Erin Condren and I wanted to take them out of the package. I'm showing you how they come in the package, but I wanted to be able to show them to you. So I'm gonna move the packages out of the way here. And we have the cards. So I ordered a package of birthday cards and you can personalize these. So I personalize this one with celebrate in here. You can write whatever you want down there at the bottom. And I just love that how it came in all the different rainbow color letters and it matches the outside being rainbow colored. And I just thought it was so cute. And you know when you just need a birthday card and you don't have them on hand? And so I thought these were very cute and I wanted to grab them to have on hand because I thought this could even go for a girl or a guy um, if my little one's going to a birthday party or something like that. So that's the birthday cards. And I thought they were very affordable for being able to personalize them. I can't remember honestly the price, so you'll have to check that one out. And I already told you how I was obsessed with this pattern, and I should have memorized the name of it, but I don't. So I will have to memorize the name of it. But they put a little bit of the pattern in here on your card, and then the outside is just the whole pattern. And you do have a little Erin Condren symbol, but very unobtrusive at the bottom. You can barely even see it's there. And I just think that's such a cute card. It can be used for anything, anything. And I just love that little touch going to the inside. And I think you, yeah, I remember you get to even pick your envelope colors for this, I think. I think I picked green. I always, you know, want to pick something like pink, but then I think if I want to write a little card to my boys, then all I have are pink envelopes. So I usually pick something a little more that could go with it for them too. But so I really like those purchases. I really love these cards and I think they're going to be very useful to me. All right, I bought another seasonal sticker book. You guys, I was waiting and waiting for her to come out with her 2019, and she just has not yet. I know she will, and I will end up buying it, but this is her 2018, this year, seasonal sticker book. And I wanted this for my big desk pad calendar from Erin Condren that I keep up here in my office. That is all about that is in my last Erin Condren haul video, and I will try to remember to link that down below. And so I just wanted this to decorate the holidays for the desk pad calendar. So I'll flip through here and show you what her seasonal sticker book is all about. She designs a new one each year and you get one page per month of seasonal stickers. And it also goes along with her calendar colors. It Calendar and planner, sorry. It doesn't really matter if you have the colorful or the neutral colorway because the stickers look great with it either way and accent it. And one of my favorite things about this book is these beautiful scripted months that you get at the top of each page. I have used those on the 12 boxes in my life planner to label them for the months and I absolutely love those. So each of these pages has gold foil or silver foil or rose gold foil. They are just really beautiful. The seasonal sticker book is my favorite sticker book of hers. It's pretty much, um, well, it's all I used until I bought her other new sticker book with launch this year. So up until then, it was it was all I used. If you just want to start small with stickers and you're a functional planner like me, and you just want to add in a few stickers, just the seasonal sticker book is the best way to go in my opinion. If you just need a few stickers to add a little flair for holidays and seasons. I This is one of my favorite products of Erin Condren's. So... I've gotten it the last two years, and I think she she really hits the mark with her seasonal sticker book, and I cannot wait to see what 2019 looks like. All right, this is my first time to get the Colorful um, Circles sticker pack. So what these are is they are transparent. You can see right there, and you put them over the dates at your like year-at-a-glance calendar at the front of your Erin Condren Life Planner. So I will show you here. I just have my monthly deluxe up here on my desk. I don't have my life planner because that's down in the kitchen. We'll stick one on here so you can see. One of my stickers, you can tell, does have some damage, but that's okay. It's just one. I want to show you what comes in this pack, though, so that you know what you're getting. 
So it's three sheets in this pack. So what it is, is you get this, like the blues, you know, the ombre, the gradient of the blues and the purples, or I guess this is more purples. You get the purples and the peaches and the pinks. And then you get just a rose gold outlined and then the silver foil and the gold foil. So you get three sheets of dots in this package and they say it's over 900 stickers. Whoa. And so you stick them to mark dates. In my life planner, I mark my kids days off school and our vacation days. And this year, I think I just highlighted them or circled them in a certain color. But I wanted to have these for the next year because I've seen so many people use them to, you know, stick on a date. So I will stick one on here and show you right here live. I've never used one before and I don't even know how hard they are to get off. Apparently they're a little bit hard. So you have to be able to get one off and then let's just stick it on like Thanksgiving just for fun. Although pink doesn't really go with Thanksgiving. Let's stick the pink on Valentine's just to... So you can see how that goes on there. And let's stick one of these metallics so we can see what they look like. So you can peel them off and you can stick them down with your hands. I know there are all kinds of sticker tools out there, <laughs> but I probably won't be buying like a sticker spatula or whatever makes this better to stick it down because it seems like I can do it without it. Um, but who knows, you guys may see me showing on Instagram that I bought some kind of sticker tool to stick these down. <laughs> but I think that they work really well. Look at that. I really love the foil outlined with the clear in the middle. Look at that. I love the way that looks. That is the rose gold one. And then this is just the pink overlaid one. So I think they work great. And if you don't want to highlight or circle your dates, I definitely think it's worth it. I mean, you're not going to use all these three sheets in one year. For sure, unless you're using it for something other than just this. I mean, these will probably last me a couple years unless I find something else I want to use them on. So I'd love to know down in the comments below if you use these, what else you use them on. Not because I'm looking for more ideas to use them up, just because I'm always interested in how people plan. Our minds all work so differently and what we like is just so different. And that's one of the things that I just love about the planner community. Okay, I ordered some refills of these. So these sheets, of course, come with every life planner, these labels. I'm not sure of the correct technical name, but online in her picture of these, it is still showing the colors from last year. So I was hesitant to order them until one of my followers told me that she ordered them and that they were the colors from this year, so I was safe to order them. And so I was like, okay, great, that's great. So even though they haven't changed these pictures out online, they are, they are the right colors, they are this year's colors. I got like five of them because I just didn't wanna run out. They're not expensive. And I'm gonna, I'm using them on my desk pad, upstairs in my office and in my life planner. And so I've kind of used a lot. Um, even though I bought three planners, you know, of all three layouts to review for you guys, in the big Erin Condren 2019 video to show you every layout. Um, I've used almost, like almost every single. There's some colors I'm completely out of. So from all those planners, I tore them out and I've used, you know, some of my colors are up. So who knows, I may end up even using all these before the end of the year. Okay, and then my last two things, you guys, are two notebooks. And let me tell you about this. Um, well, there's some sticky stuff on this notebook because let me show you what happened. This tablet, I guess, got too hot in shipping and it has adhesive on the back. So I should have shown you guys anyway. If you want to stick it somewhere, it has these things you can remove and it has adhesive on the back too. I don't know where you would want to stick it because I don't know why you would want to stick the adhesive on your fridge. I don't know. But it has adhesive on the back. It obviously got too hot and it's stuck in two places on this notebook. I will just have to get like some goo gone and um, be scrubbing that off. But anyway, um, I don't know why I chose this cover. I mean, I do know why. It reminded me of children's storybooks. It just made me feel calm and like just a carefree spring day at the pond or something. Um, when my son and I might go feed the ducks. I don't know. It just, it seemed like a calming, it looked like a storybook picture. 
and I put on here, find the beauty in every day. So that's the cover I designed for this notebook. I love how her notebook rings are smaller and they actually match up appropriately to the size of the notebook, in my opinion, because they don't leave room for stickers and such. So with her notebooks, you get a cover and you get the same dashboard that you get with a planner. And you have that at the back too. And then you get these different flag stickers in different colors for a notebook to use. So these are, you know, the little flag stickers and you get all these colors, one page of them with every notebook that you buy. At the beginning of your notebook, you have your nameplate page and then you have a quote and I picked the productivity. So for the productivity, it comes in a range of colors. So I'll show you each color, but if you flip through here, um, you can see the colors change out every few pages. Also, her notebook pages are perforated. So I don't know if you can see that, but you can tear them out. There is a dotted line here you can fold on. I guess I can't get really show that well to you guys. Maybe you can kind of see it. There's a dotted line. They can be torn out without tearing it out of the spiral. I think that's a really nice addition. So productivity pages look like this. The back of the page is just completely lined, plain lined. The other side is, you know, three quarters line and one quarter list with like tick off boxes. So that's the way the productivity notebook runs the whole way. So first you like have a section of kind of her red, then you have like her light mauve pink, then orange, then green, and then what? Dark green. And then we go into her darker purple. And I think that's the last color. Yes. So, and then let's see. Every time you switch to a new color, you get a quote. You get a quote down there. And I believe, yeah, it's only on the pages. Well, no, I'm wrong. So it's every so many pages I counted and it's every five pages you get a quote down here at the bottom, which I think is kind of nice. Every five pages you just get a little bit of cute motivation. I like the colors in here. Her notebook that is just all lined um, only comes with like gray at the top and it just looks a little bit sad to me. To be honest, I wish they would make one all lined with just not a big thing of gray because it looks kind of sad or with a color being a choice. But um, I can use the productivity so that's fine. It's just for extra notes and lists and I don't really have a set purpose for it yet but I think I don't have any notebooks that I haven't written in yet of hers and so I wanted to just have a notebook that if I need to grab it for something and write in it that I would have it. Okay, and this notebook has my favorite cover on it ever that I've made. So I have made this cover before, and I actually have it sitting up in my office on an Erin Condren acrylic easel, so I'm not even using it. So I kind of thought I wanted one of these covers to be able to use since that one sits up on my acrylic easel because I absolutely love it. I wish I could get like this in a print somehow with the mid-century circles around it and this in the middle written even bigger somehow. I love the colors. I love how this is written in colors. I just love it. I love it. It's my favorite cover I've ever designed with Erin Condren because it has like my mantra right now, which is you have enough time for the things that matter. And like I already talked about that in the video, so I won't go on and on about that. But it is, I love her mid-century circles. The colors just absolutely pep up my mood. They make me happy. I love them. Her paper smells amazing for anyone who loves paper. She has her same 80 pound paper in these notebooks that she has in her planners. So you get the same quality of paper in these notebooks that she has in her planners. There is no ghosting problems, you guys. There is no bleed through. It's amazing 80 pound paper with a great tooth to it. Tooth just means a teeny bit of texture. You can kind of fill it. It takes the ink well takes the ink well, feels like it takes the ink in, and yet it doesn't soak through, okay, bleed through to the other page. I just, I love her paper, and these notebooks are just the perfect size. They flow seamlessly. They're sturdy enough. You can walk around and write without any surface under you, so I can't rave enough about just, just her notebooks. If You know what? Here's a little story for you, and then we're done. 
My very first product I ever tried from Erin Condren was a notebook. I used somebody else's $10 off, like your first order. So I just, you know, saw somebody online, had the link. I used their $10 off your first order and I got a notebook. So I barely paid anything because she was running a sale too, I think. It was near around Christmas time. And I think I ended up only paying like $4. I think it was even free shipping. She was having some big thing going on. So I only paid $4, but after using her notebook and seeing the cover and everything, it was enough to make me want to try the planner, along with my sister who had already used Erin Condren for off and on for a couple years. So anyway, there's your story. I started out with an Erin Condren notebook. If you've never tried an Erin Condren product, it might just be a good place to start because who doesn't need a notebook to make lists, notes, thoughts? You get to try out one of her covers, you know, her coils. It's the most inexpensive way to try her paper and the cover and the coils, all the things you get in a planner, but you're just getting it on a smaller scale and a lot less money to just try it out. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching my haul, and I will see you next time. Happy planning. Bye-bye.